Welcome here at the LTE Advanced Test Batch from Heinrich Hertz Institute. What we are doing here is uh, to prove the real-time capability of new algorithms, uh, which are intended for cellular networks. And the major intention of this testbed is to show that we can reduce the interference in these systems in order to improve the performance. What we have set up here in this testbed is a real interference scenario. We have two base stations, a channel, which is an artificial channel, and two terminals, which you can see here on the booth. What we have done in this project is to extend the capabilities of these base stations by three new features, and I can show you them here inside this base station. So I open it. So the first new thing we have implemented is synchronization. So we synchronize the base station to the global positioning system. The second thing is that we are able to exchange data between the base stations in order to make them able to help each other in the transmission. And the third new thing is that we have implemented a new channel from the terminal to the base station, which tells the base station the channel uh, measured in the downlink over the uplink, so that the downlink channel quality can be improved based on this. So the radio signals go from the base station to this channel emulator, where we have captured the channel during measurements and drive tests in the Berlin test bed. We have extracted the different multipass signals coming from reflections on buildings and houses. And uh, we can replay them again and again to emulate this interference scenario. As already shown by my colleagues, channel aware precoding is in fact feasible in real practical systems. We know that, keep this in mind and go to system level simulations which are intended to show the achievable expected performance in a cellular system. And we do this by using computer simulations. As shown here, we have a collaboration area in the middle which is scalable in the size, which is, of course, again, a factor which, it, which, is, which makes it more feasible in a real system. For system level simulations, it's quite important to, to, to focus on, on the channel modeling part. We are doing this by taking different propagation scenarios into account, by, by taking, for example, 3D antenna models, and we do our performance evaluation by using channel-aware pre-coding as well as advanced receiver techniques and by, by this combination of really powerful techniques we can show the achievable performance scales with a number of collaborating sectors ranging from 100 to 200 percent compared to the non-collaborative case. Yeah, so concluding limited localized base station cooperation is in fact feasible and brings gains in the cellular system. Now we are back in the lab. We have the same setup like before. There are two base stations, a channel emulator, and two mobile terminals. And what is going to happen here, I explain you at the blackboard. So here we have two base stations, and each of these base stations is serving one terminal. If we are in the overlap region of the signals between the two base stations, then there is strong interference. And this interference degrades the performance dramatically. If we have our new technique, cooperative base stations, then these base stations exchange information. And this information is the wireless channel, which we denote as H, and the data. By having this information, these two base stations can jointly pre-code the data streams and remove the interference between the cells. And that is what I can show you here at our terminals in the experimental system. Each of these terminals is getting two data streams, which you see at the constellation diagrams here. And this small box here shows how the interference reduction actually works. 
So these two green boxes are the two data streams for this terminal, which is receiving this in its own cell. And the red boxes here are the signals intended for the terminal in the other cell. So you see, the signals are much weaker, and so we can observe that the interference reduction has worked correctly. By implementing such interference reduction techniques in the next generation mobile networks, we can enable for the mobile internet user applications such as multimedia like it is in the wired network today.